Okay, so pleasant afternoon to each and everyone. Now let us move on to our day two as continuation for our discussion. So our lesson for today has something to do with our lesson yesterday, of course. So let's go back to what is weathering. So weathering does not describe the weather, but rather the process by which rocks breaks down into smaller pieces. Okay, so our lesson yesterday is all about mechanical weathering or physical weathering. So when we say physical weathering, it has something to do with the breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces due to physical forces such as water temperature and without changing its composition. So the five agents for mechanical aid weathering are fit. So we have the frost wedging, exfoliation, abrasion, tree roots and animal burrowing, and of course, thermal expansion. So let us play once again. So what is the answer in this picture, on this slide? Okay, chemical, very good. That has something to do with our lesson for today. So we're going to move on to chemical weathering. So in chemical weathering, weathering happens when rocks break down due to water, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and other organic acids. So the process forms new substances. Of course, compared to physical, no new, no new substances were formed. In chemical, new substances were being formed. Okay, in chemical weathering, we're going to memorize four, the ocho, oxidation, carbonation, hydration, and of course, organic acids. Okay, first one is oxidation. So, oxygen combined with iron to produce iron oxide or rust. Hence, some of the colors of the rocks are red. Next is Carbonation. When carbon dioxide from the atmosphere dissolves in rainwater, carbonic acid is formed. Precipitation that contains carbonic re acids reacts with the minerals in rocks in a process called carbonation. Third is hydration. Water weather rocks either by dissolving their minerals to form a solution or by combining directly on some minerals to form new minerals. And the last is, of course, um, organic acids. A number of plants and animals may create chemical weathering through the release of acidic compounds, decaying remains, and even dead plants and animals may also form organic acid, which has, which when dissolved in water, affect the surrounding of rocks and soil. So uh, again, when we say chemical weathering, there are four factors or processes that affect, uh, occurs. It includes oxidation, carbonation, hydro hydration rather or organic acids so ocho i think that's all for today for the five minute lesson thank you for listening